Feeling better. Feeling a lot better. So, we're going to work on Crown Island, actually. I think this one was cut short because it was unforeseen man caps. So, I'm going to spend about 30 minutes here. See what I can do. Call it. So, um, what I'm basically going to do is just fill in every crevice of this island with more residential because I really want to keep boosting that population up and it should boost up on its own since I've done a whole lot of work. Actually, I may cram every square inch of this island to think parks because there's a lot of empty space here. Look at that. Look at all this commercial coming in. Wow. Wowee. Alright, so I'm thinking what's this? Ooh, is the lighthouse? No. Cruise ship port. Okay. Well then, I thought we already had one. What we have? Huh. N not a problem. I'll just keep on keeping on. It's fine. Cruise ship port goes in there. Um, will all this be high density, right? And over here, it's going to be medium density. I feel like that's the one zone that I just don't really do a ton of in this game, and I should probably change that. It's just the lack of it being in City Skylines really shows how important it is to exist. So I should really feature it in my cities. There we go. There's some room for some more commercial. We have no industrial demand. Interesting. The mint's actually really good here. All right, so let's build a ton of parks and we'll see where we get going. Um, I'm guessing around the airport is probably the best place to go. Um, I will put a little road in here. Just so it's like, oh yeah, I gotta take this road to the airport entrance, but not really because it's not real. But whatever. All right, so parks, um, soccer field. Baseball fields. That's pretty much all the big parks we can fit in. Let's go to small ones. How about a... Oh, let's have an explosion power plant, apparently. Playgrounds. Hey, go go play the playground right by the airport. It's fine. It's okay. Um, so for power generation... Solar? Yeah. Got some big super skyscrapers coming in. Go. And we'll just keep building parks and seeing what happens to our population. We're like at what, 239, so that's pretty good. Um, traffic is something different here, apparently. Yep. How bad is it? 7,000? Wow. 8,700 cars. Wow. So what if I did uh, bus stops? That might help. Maybe just a little bit something, right? Yeah, I'll kind of work those in as I go about the city, but let's keep doing more residential or more parks, I mean. You want know tennis courts next to the highway? It's fine. This is great. There's like four of the same building going up. You know what? I don't even care. It's something, right? Some community gardens. It's looking great. People love this stuff. You can put Santa Park in? Or like, ooh, a water park. Let's do that. Two water parks. Boom. What makes people happier than freaking water parks? At last! I said from YouTube comments to stream chat. Oh, it is off center. Dell's like, I was so excited because I initially thought everything was perfect, but it wasn't. You are so right, good sir. Eh. If only SimCity 4 could run at 1440p, but it can't because I don't know. It's old. Concept of 1440p, uh, back when SimCity 4 was made, I don't think it, like, 2003. 
Yeah, I think uh, we were seeing 720p back in those days. Everything was CRT. I remember playing this game on a 19-inch CRT monitor. That was uh, that was rough. It weighed 49 pounds, and I thought it was gonna break my cheap little like staples desk that I had in my bedroom, in my parents' house. Yeah, those are the days. Whew. Living the dream. Anyways, welcome, Mirror GS. Hopefully you haven't had that in the chat. You can watch your mod. See, I when I mess with that, I get the same issues as if I did the Steam options, where you type in you know whatever res resolution you want. I'll put it in, it'll show it in 1440p. But when I zoom around, I get weird like tiling issues as I scroll around and eventually the game just crashes. So I'm not really sure what does that. I'm fine. I mean, this is... I'm running at 1080p, which is pretty impressive, I think. So I think I'll just leave it and just keep my little zoomed-in uh, window. I just needed to remember that I have it zoomed in. Oh, how much money I would pay for a modern SimCity. Just remaster SimCity 4, yeah. Don't even... Don't, like, try and remake it. Just remaster it. Just let it run in beautiful 4K or whatever. Let it run on Windows properly. Oof. I would pay a full $60 for that game. You hear that, EA? $60 for your game. Let's see. I want... There we are. Nice, smooth, 45-degree angles, bends, whatever. Hey, it's JC. I always wonder how many people in the YouTube comments actually will come and watch a stream. It's pretty great. Ugh, I hate these slummy looking like apartment complexes, tenements basically. Yeah, it's rough. But, you know, they probably work over here. So I can't say much. He's looking pretty good though. I think the population, wow. Population's gone up by 130,000 since I started. Hey, you picked a pretty good one. The game's actually running. Uh, the past four live streams, I've had a lot of crashing issues. We'll see if that happens again. I've done some like fixes and patches to see if it'll help. I don't know. This game is a crashy one, I can tell you. I'm only going to be streaming for like another 20 to 30 minutes. Sorry, it's a, stor a short stream, but I have plans, unless these plans get canceled last minute, which is actually quite possible. We'll see. Speaking of which, I should probably keep my phone nearby. Oh. Hopefully you're staying warm. Staying healthy, warm, happy employed or educated, you know, stuff like that. Just some like large plates. I like these. They're so green and happy. And our high tech area is not looking as high tech as it could be. Let's clean this crap out. Oh, well maybe because the high tech's just gone. Which is weird. So there's an industrial demand cap going on. I got D&D &D tonight anyhow. It for too long. I miss. I never played D and D, but I did play Pathfinder back in the day. Oh man, those are good times. I really miss those days. I kind of want to do like some kind of high-speed rail on this island because it's so small and condensed. Maybe. Okay, this mansion is just obnoxious. Look at this. He's like, I'm just going to buy out three quarters of the block. I'll live on it. So, look at you, D&D &D and Pathfinder. You, sir, are just living the dream over there. Some more parks. I need to look up and see what helps with industrial demand caps. I think just having more residential, commercial, something like that. But I've also heard that 
newer in D&D. Like, they've improved it to where uh, it's, like, super good. I know, this was, like, six years ago when I played, so. My friends are like, ew, current D&D stinks, so we'll just play Pathfinder. And I was like, oh, it's all the same to me. I just enjoy playing games with my friends. Let's see. Power plant's about to explode again. Should I just go to one of these islands over here and just cover it in power plants? Solar, a little solar island. Mm -hmm. What about this one? I don't think they need cars, so we just build a whole bunch of these things. Call it a day. Vanilla C4 doesn't actually give any. Hmm. Ah, interesting. So yeah, maybe because it's an island. So what, I'm, what I should do is put an island right here and have it a highway connect to it. I mean, that's reasonable. Actually, I would connect this way because this goes off the map. Does it matter if it goes off the map versus going into the another region tile? I don't remember. It takes just a tiny little island. It doesn't have to be anything. Let's rotate. Eh. Okay. So I'm going to put a highway right here. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to look like... We'll do not elevate. Save a few bucks. Boom. And then... I'll just have it go through the mountain. that it doesn't really have to connect to it but I think it looks nice there we go I think that actually turned out better than I ever thought it would we'll see if any demand caps show up who knows let it have a minute to take I'm not really rushing anyways Hey, we're at 412,000. We've almost added 200,000 pop. It doesn't really look like it. Oh, wow. Five of the same building on one spot. Good job, game. Oh, there's number six. And there's a whole bunch of these super tall, skinny ones. Where are they? Medium wealth? Okay. All right. I think we need more parks because we have a lot of low density in high density zones. So I think it's just the more demand caps holding me down. Man's keeping me down, actually. Oh yeah, power plants, I forgot. Ha. Huh. Um all those useless buildings I downloaded. Let's see. I don't remember if I actually need a road to go with these. Then they want one. We'll start with three. And they have a road to each other. Wow. How exciting. Oh, not that. Man, I've been playing a ton of Dyson Sphere the past couple days. And I'm just like, if only we could just send up a whole bunch of solar satellites and beam down the electricity. That'd be so convenient. Hmm, true. But I wonder if... I wonder if these ports will tell me if they do demand cap. Let's see. Pegged CDK3SP version. It doesn't really say. See, these say they promote industrial development. I wonder if these 
after the van cap. No, it's just jobs. Never mind. Blame. Oh well. If there's no more industrial in this area, I don't really care, care too much, I guess. Convenient. Let's see. The more I play on this map, the less I'm liking it. <laughs> on this uh, exact city, though. About modded. Yeah. It, like, there's a park. Somewhere. Ah, sunken highways. I wish I could spend the time to relearn so I mean, sunken highways. This one says boost, landmark effect, and resident, residential cap release. So I'm thinking maybe some other stuff will tell me that. I don't know. Alright, this isn't going to work. Get out of here. I don't think that'll work either, will it? Let's see. Nope. Oh, I don't care about jail. Leave me alone. Just like that. And that should probably be an avenue anyways. Oh, come on. something. It's not perfect, but you know what? True. Mm, the Santa Park's a BSC park. And I think these are BSC speed parks. Eh. Whatever. I'm not going to sweat any more about it. Commercial in. Let's just fill this full of parks. Let's just do that. At least all the area that's not next to the road, actually. Plus water park. Why not? Community pool. Let's do... Actually, can't do that. I have to make this into a 45 degree bend. Yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to think of getting industry to help boost more residential demand cap and stuff, but I'm actually going to save. I'm thinking about it. It saved and it didn't crash. We did it. It hurts my soul because I don't have the time to actually. We're going to go back in. We're going to see what I finished before the save. State skate park. Really? I need to pull up the chart. I really do. So that way I can actually put some. EA games. It was too good to be true. I was doing too good. The island looked too nice. Because it's looked like a dump since I made it. And then I work on it and now it's gone. Let's see. So that's at what five hundred and seventy thousand people on that tiny little island? Four fifty three. We didn't lose all of our progress. Just like the last ten minutes, sadly. Yeah, I thought that was the Oh well. Eh. <sighs> Anyways, that's how SimCity 4 goes, you know, crash. Hey, we're at 14.6 million region population. That is, I think this is officially my highest population region ever. These aren't cause the crash anymore. You can try to make the auto saves more frequent. Yeah, I'm, I can't get the SimCity 4 launcher to see my, my game and my plugins at the same time anymore. Something happened or it just can't, it doesn't load the plugins and so for my regions so i need to figure that out so that way i can get auto saves going because it did not crash during the autos during the saves so that's pretty good 
But anyways, we made progress. This island looks quite a bit better. I can always go back to it and trim it off. Maybe get it to like 600,000 pop. But anyways, that's it for me for the night. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being in the chat, talking to me, making me not sound like a crazy person talking to nobody. Um, I think next time, if I can get that launcher to autosave, I'm going to hop back in to Megatropolis. We're going to push for... I can probably get to 1.5 million pretty easy. I just need to start going through and filling out each of these squares. Just methodically, just boom, boom, boom. You know? Yep. Fingers crossed. I just... I should have just saved more often. I should have known. Once you pass that 500,000 mark, it just gets hairy. But whatever. Good night.